My name is Alex Pope. I'm the co-owner of Local Pig here in Kansas City, Missouri. So today we're going to have a whole hog class. We've got uh, uh, a full class today, and our head butcher Miles is going to be running running the show. Um, and what we do is we start with one hog, and we start just from the from one end and just move right along down the line. Uh, we process down into uh, subprimal cuts, um, so they'll cut down the whole loin, and then. One of the other butchers will cut it into single single chops that will get wrapped up for people to take home. Um, and then we just do a lot of talking about, hey, this is the Boston butt. It's connected to the picnic shoulder. You can use the Boston butt for smoking for smoking for pulled pork sandwiches. You can use the picnic shoulder for uh, slow roasting, any sort of uh, stew, stew type pork recipe. Um, so we just try and do a lot of uh, teaching people where things come from and we thought it'd be nice to uh, really get people involved in the actual cutting so they uh, understood what we were doing and how we were different. Um, we wanted people to be able to connect the idea of a pork chop comes from this section of the pig, bacon comes from over here, and really uh, connect that things come from animals, they're not just in styrofoam little packages at the grocery store. Getting ready for a hog class is relatively simple. Uh, you know, we, we organize with our, with our hog growers to, uh, to bring them to uh, our slaughterhouse and uh, we pick them up from the slaughterhouse the next day and they're split and skinned. And that's basically how they end up on the table when we start hog class. We get our handouts, uh, handouts printed off, we get sandwiches ready, we get some food ready for everybody, we get some beer ready for everybody. And that's the general breakdown on hog class. In our first class was really fun. We uh, we had ten really interested people. Uh, kind of word got out and tickets sold really quickly. Uh, actually, our general manager now uh, attended the first whole hog class and just kept showing up after that until we gave him a job. And uh, he ended up he, he ended up just being fantastic. We we do get a lot of return customers for our hog class. We get probably about twenty percent of the people to end up taking both the hog class and the sausage class. Um, we see a lot of people that come in after they, they didn't, you know, a lot of people get a hog class uh, as a present, come in, you know, and take all the meat home and come back and say, man, that was great, I want more of that, and uh, really get on the get on the train once uh, once they've had an intro. We have several different groups that come to uh, the whole hog class. One is the kind of foodie adventurist who just uh, really likes food, loves restaurants, loves cooking, wants to see how everything's done. Um, Another group is the uh, kind of hunter uh, people that uh, are somewhat familiar with breaking down an animal but really want to get the ins and outs of it. Um, and the third one is kind of new back to the age people that are actually thinking about growing pigs and would like to know what to do with the pig when they actually have gotten one up to weight and are going to slaughter it. It's, it's a lot of 35 to 40 year old males. Um, a lot of people that are looking for something to do, something interesting to do, a lot of, we call them uh, uh, bro dates, two guys that come, want something to do, come down, they come down, they get some food, they you know drink a beer with us and cut up a pig, take home a bunch of stuff. It's a, that's why we put it on Sunday afternoons. It's a great Sunday afternoon activity to come down, hang out, talk, and cut cut a pig up. Um, it was it was just kind of the, uh, you know, the thought of coming in and being able to cut our own meat up and you know, just the, I guess the knowledge was a big part of it, being able to do it and uh, maybe being able to buy half a hog or something like that and be, you know, further on down the road being able to butcher it ourselves. Um, thought that was kind of cool and uh, it's kind of a fun weekend deal.